Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension. My name is Maria. I'm your Sherpa for this guide. Uh, if you're new to the channel, first of all, a Sherpa is a guide. That's all it is, is a guide. And it's usually a guide to uncharted territories. So I am your Sherpa for the fourth dimension. Part of my job here is to help you uh, navigate life through guidance and intuitive guidance using, of course, tarot as well as my intuition. Um, again, if you're new here, I do a weekly zodiac spread per zodiac sign to help you determine uh, what's coming up for you this coming week that you might be struggling with. Lastly, is I do a midweek pulse on Wednesday and then what to expect on the weekend. And those are collective views. If you're interested, if this is uh, resonating with you, would strongly consider um, hitting that subscribe button so you can be a member of the tribe. That way, when I do post content, you're notified of it. So before you leave here, hit that subscribe button. It takes literally a second, costs you nothing, helps me grow the channel, um, which is amazing because it helps me uh, reach a larger population all over the world, which is really my goal. I absolutely want to talk to people in Italy and, and Ireland, not no shame on Sweden, love you all too, and Germany, all you folks are great. Uh, but I have folks of uh, family in, <laughs> in Ireland and in, uh, in Italy, Sicily specifically. So uh, this reading is for Aquarius. Aquarius, this is for March 24th through the 30th. We are ending the month strong. Uh, we're ending the month walking into Man, I can't believe we're already going into Q2 of 24, but it, it's also a retrograde. So I'm doing this something a little bit different, Aquarius, Oof. is I'm doing two uh, overview cards, which is kind of like what to expect this week. Yeah, a lot, a lot happening. And um, if you don't know anything about retrograde, it's when all your awesome exes come back like you didn't have enough stress going on tax season and all for those in the United States uh, now you get to deal with people knocking on your door and prompt you or texting you like you just took them off block like a week ago right just kidding um maybe not maybe not kidding I always I always say whatever happens during a reading I just leave it running this video mostly because whatever happens during a reading I feel is maybe a part of the reading and a message you need to hear um I also think that when I get intuition, it's never like, it's always impromptu. So I'm in the middle of a read and something will come and download and I'm like, oh my goodness. And it helps give me clarity. So I use uh, two spreads. One of the spreads is, uh, what is this one? It is, oh, excuse me, a uh, message of love from the Oracle deck. Pretty common. You can find it pretty much anywhere. And uh, same with this one is uh, hearts, Hidden Secrets, very similar. Um, but I like I like that it has a variety, so you can use it for, even though one of them says love, it can actually be family, it could be anything as it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, oh my goodness, I can't say, I cannot express this enough. Um, I made this smart-handed, off-handed comment about cottage cheese and jello being on a buffet line, and if, I would eat it, mm. I, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can barely tolerate Jello, and everybody loves Jello, right? Anyway, um, if you don't like it, don't take it. And it's the same as this reading. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit. If it's confusing, then it's not your read. Flat, simple, plain. Uh, there's other opportunities, or or check your star, your other placements. You know, your sun rising, your moon rising. Super important especially where we are in the, right now with Libra. Oh my goodness. Libra in your chart, God bless you. Libras are going through it. Thank you. Need a few more. I'll get there, thank you for your patience. And sometimes when I'm really impatient, I'll just start pulling cards. I always like this, it always feels authentic. Do I need five more, please? For Aquarius. One more, and then I'm gonna pull five. Thank you. Oh, now you're gonna come out, I see. Now you're gonna talk to me, okay. Thank you, that's perfect. That's way too many, but thank you. All right, here we go. What's here, what's here, what's here, what's 
here. La la la. Oof. Thanks. All right. Aquarius. Bottom of the deck for all three. This is your overall energy of what you're feeling is you are feeling that somebody was your soulmate for sure that you have some confusion about you're unclear about where you stand that's another feeling you're feeling and then ace of wands is you want a passionate new beginning aces are brand new and it might be with a new person we'll see i turn my jazz down a little bit sorry um i feel like you're detached or somebody's detached from this relationship and somebody needs some clarity that's your First week out, and I believe this is something that's resonating from the weekend. I would almost say even the latter part last week. Um, somebody wants to have or offer you a new understanding. Um, or um, when you detached, you let the whole relationship go. When you let this whole thing go, um, you wanted uh, some clarity. When I see this Knight of Pentacles and the Hanged Man, I believe that the person that you needed clarity from and that you detached from may be coming in to offer you that clarity, um, that new beginning, have a conversation about a new commitment. The hangman is somebody that has sat in a period of isolation, typically, and they have identified the problems that they had previously that created the situation to begin with. And they're coming to understanding why. Why, what is it about this? that I'm struggling with. Well, it seems like somebody might have been struggling with feeling neglected. Um, I failed to give you what you needed and it created bitterness and hurtful words and maybe a fight or two and some resentment. So you might be coming out of a relationship where somebody acted out, I'll just say that, that could be a number of things, um, due to feeling in, uh, neglected, which would then describe my, who are we talking about? The lovers, which is, a orchestrated, divinely orchestrated relationship where the divine and your Sherpa tribes have chosen each other to map each other out on your timeline, meet um, independently. I mean, like without, you, it could even be like social media, that sort of thing, but it doesn't matter. You two resonated and immediately had a connection. Um, however, you're sitting in this um, unhappy state where your wishes are not fulfilled. And this person, I feel just, almost like disappointed you. They disappointed you. You had goals and you had um, expectations of where this was going and this fell short, fell short due to the behavior of your party. Um, I do believe somebody felt neglected, somebody felt detached um, and you wanted some answers. And it sounds like maybe it's somebody coming in and offering you those answers. It is the retrograde, I am telling you. Uh, so somebody's sitting in a period of reminiscing, you know, reminiscing, dwelling, and they have bittersweet memories. And they do believe that you have a pretty intense um, chemistry. And like I just said, it was like a, a fire, like a firecracker going off. And this King of Wands, I believe, this person, is finding you very, very attractive and alluring, and they are missing you. They feel like they want to come out of the cold. They want to come in and restore this relationship with you, and they want to reconcile. They are uh, a bit resistant. Mm. They might be watching you on social media. I can't make it up, y'all. So this resistance card is a secret admirer and it's suppressing it at time. So, um, and they're timid, they're shy. I also believe that there's a distance, whether it be a physical distance, like overseas level, that's some of you, several continents difference, as well as uh, uh, emotional different, uh, dis distance. So somebody is feeling very much like it's been a while since you guys talked to each other and the how you left it how you left it was a severed situation so this person is wanting to come in and you know a breathe that that distance and um have a conversation with you and let go like the feeling i get with the resistance with these two check out these two couple look at that you know, it's the intimacy piece. It's not just, it's not just the sexual, you know, that's great. I mean, I'm telling you this, this, whoever this is, you kind of miss it. I'm just like, <laughs> but the intimacy is what scared him. The intimacy of getting close was what triggered this whole thing, I feel. And um, set them off and they do look back and they see you as a soulmate. They absolutely see the value in this relationship and they feel a connection and they know they jacked it up and they know they sabotaged it. 
Um, yeah, and they don't know where they stand now. They don't know how much you hate them. <laughs> they are feeling left in the cold. This is the Five of Cups. In the Five of Cups, if you're new to tarot, there's five cups and in cups, uh, they're filled with love. Everybody fills their own cup with love, right? We show ourselves self-love. We have a high uh, value, self-value of ourselves, right? And we offer that to somebody, whether a family, partner, whomever, and in kind, they give us theirs and we pour into each other's cup, right? That's the idea. Uh, in this situation, there was five full cups and they spilled three. Three fell over and they have two upright, which is, the, again, the lovers, which was, I think, oh, it's not out yet. Okay, I'm sure it'll show up. And so the two cups were that are filled over here that the person could just turn away from the three spilled and focus on the two. They could just pick them up and go start a new relationship, maybe even rekindle this one and move on with their life. They can't. They're stuck. They're constantly focused on the three. They can't move past that. So they are absolutely stuck. Um, and they know that they were the ones that were lacking the giving in this relationship. They did not give what you gave. They did not match it. Mm. So I feel Aquarius. Yeah, this is, I, I can't make it up. It's the next line. So I have reciprocity and pain so this person is like, now I'm willing to have an equal give and take. I'm willing to give more than I gave before. And I'm sorry for creating so much pain. And they are afraid that you're not going to accept them back. They're extremely cautious. They're apprehensive. They know they screwed up. That's the feeling. Now, here's the key. Here's the problem I have. This is in the upright. I don't make this up. So this is my seven of swords. And I had a weekend spread that has a similar vibe to this. So Aquarius, you might be dealing with the water sign. Um, There's a lot of water in the last chart and I'm always concerned about a lot of water. I am a water sign, but when I read a lot of water, it can be any sign. Any sign can possess a lot of water. Um, it's imbalance, right? So when I have too much water, um, it's not stable. It's just kind of like here one minute, gone the next. I could say I love you and pour out my heart out and love bomb the crap out of you and genuinely meet it and change my mind, right? In a minute. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. And this is in the upright. This is my, the only card, the only card in tarot that says deceit. And it was outright deceitful. That's the seven. So the seven of wands is somebody coming in, um, gathering all the all the swords to not get cut like almost getting rid of the ammunition and the um the things that are going to hurt them right so they're going to hold their um their swords close to them and right there is we have a world so I, I it's the ending so either they're going to end being deceitful and you've called this out and had a conversation with it um, and you call this and I'm going to find out or you're ending the relationship and closing this chapter for good. And again, in the timeline, you have these chapters, multiple cycles within a chapter. So if I'm married 50 years, it might be one chapter, 50 cycles. Not sure. Just depending on, you know, your timeline, this is an ending to a chapter. So you might be closing this out for good. Let's find out again. If you don't know me, Maria, the nosy reader, that's who I am. Cause I, I do have your best intention at at heart and i want to know tell me about this clarity and the detachment with this hangman and spirit doesn't let me down they are always always clarifying for me typically and when i'm confused i just keep clarifying until i understand it what's happening here okay so i got three cards so i have the hierophant that's what they want to do they want to come in take you to calmer waters quit fighting because they see you as a star this i believe is all accurate they sat in their shell and they realized I jacked that up completely my fault. I need to take them to calmer waters, right? That's my intent. I see them as hopes fulfilled, wishes fulfilled. They are my future, my star. And this is my higher font, which is a long-term commitment. See what I mean? Shows up every time. Tell me about neglected bitterness on the lovers and the uh, 10 of cups, please. Tell me about this. And I believe this is genuine. I believe the feelings are genuine. I just don't know if they have it in them. So it is a queen of cups. Somebody you see is loving, kind, giving, generous. Or you are the queen of cups and you are loving, kind. This is like, who is this about? It's going to require some strength because you're dealing with an emperor or you are the emperor, right? So these two, both, I believe, are in their head. You miss each other. There's a lot of anxiety. Um, it's creating, like, neither of you can sleep. Maybe one of you are sleeping fine, but the other one can't. 
they can't eat or sleep, and you're fearful about the lack of, uh, the uh, maybe disloyalty. Maybe somebody, like I said, stepped out and that's what they're anxious about is having a conversation about um, stepping out of this relationship. Chemistry, mem memories, the five of cup, or the five pentacles in reverse, and the king of wands. Tell me more, spirit. Thank you. Oh, and I got one here too. That one's just hiding. It's the Empress. Okay, so that's the match to the Emperor. So the King of Wands feels chemistry and has memories about this Empress and wants to come out of the cold. Again, Hierophant <laughs> wants to get married. That's what this means. Um, I do believe that they also, yep, um, they're feeling insecure, inept. They're feeling weak. You make them lose their mind. They get butterflies around you. And again, if I didn't say it before, we got again, six of swords and again, the star. Tell me about this distance and resistance. Tell me more. Distance and resistance with the five of cups. Thank you. Thank you. They want their ten of, their nine of cups. They see you as a wish fulfillment. They know that there was not an equal give and take. Remember that cup I just told you about with Michael the Archangel right there? And there needed to be give or take in this situation. Uh, that's the equal balance. And then I have the nine of cups, which is wishes fulfilled. Again, in Tarot, ten of cups is the uh, bona fide final product of this whole deck. Is Everybody's trying to reach the ten of cups. And they see you, I believe, as the fulfillment of their... 10. They just need to offer you the one that you already have the nine. You're pretty happy on your own. Uh, you're compassionate. You have, you're trustworthy, uh, high minded, meaning high standards. Um, they see you very, very, very well. Um, I do have a three of wands in the, um, in also as part of this resistant and distant is somebody's making a plan to come forward. This is not making a decision. They've already made the decision. They're planning and they're strategizing how they're going to do it. Um, they want justice in the situation. They want to make this fair and they want a rebirth. They want to come back in. And if that isn't enough, I have yet another world card. So that's the third time I've seen the world card in this reading. Tell me about reciprocity, the seven of swords and the world. Here we go. Is this real or isn't it? I got, you're gonna have to discern. I hate this. It says, take time out and the answer will come. Again, possibly because there's so many people on this reading. And I, I get like a sense of this is your intuition. You're gonna know, you know already if you're gonna trust this person. You remember the fighting, the five of wands just came out, the endless arguing and the the biting I hear, the biting comments, the struggle, the tension, the competition. There was competition, the arguments. You listen to your inner voice. There was inner and outer conflicts. Anything else you want to say about the seven? There's a this competition thing. Oh yeah, I got the five of swords in reverse. It is strength is tested. They want you to be approachable. Um, it's like uncertain outlook. Because again, a lot of folks watch this, but it's resentment. So these two things are your barriers. So if you can't get past this and create a brand new beginning, there's no way this is going to work. Because you're going to be living off finger pointing from the scales prior. You're not going to make it a, a flat, even scale. You're going to hold your resentment and throw dirt and vice versa. It's going to be, remember when you did, and I remember when you said, and I can't believe you forgot, la, la, la. Okay, lastly, Aquarius, you do have a two of cups right here, and that's what they want. They want to have a conversation, and that's that, that um, where is it? Hold on. This one. This is Michael, the archangel, balancing out those two of cups. This is why. He wants you to start with two balanced cups. So you, somebody's walking in, even though the one person didn't give the same level you did in the previous relationship, it's like a reset. He wants you to reset this relationship and vow that you're going to keep the cups balanced. If you can't do that, then you shouldn't be considering that. And again, making that choice, this is you. You need to make a decision now. This person has already made their choice and they are coming in per your Sherpa tribe, they're saying, hey, heads up, you need to sit with the information that I just gave you and make a decision. And you don't have much time. They're not rushing in. It's gonna, there's gonna be a few delays to this conversation. Again, we're on multiple timelines. Take it as it resonates. But at the end of the day, 
uh, you're gonna you're gonna have an eloquent conversation. I feel like you're gonna speak your mind. Um, I do have some concerns because you feel that this person was untrustworthy. Uh, maybe a thief, and thief can be your own time, your own energy. Maybe an actual theft did occur. They try to steal from you, um, and there is some just overall frustration. It was a grind at the end. It, a very like you could not wait to get out of this relationship before it ended. But <clears throat> this was why is you never could get past this. This, this, this that, 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 you know the bitey stuff and. I remember you saying, like, I almost hear some of you or one or maybe even just one person I just heard say, if we could just be past this petty crap, we'd be fine, right? And so here's your chance. You're getting a second chance. So somebody, maybe this is a test. I'm just saying. Um, Aquarius, I am going to leave you with an angel number. I feel like you're going to need it this week. It's going to be a rough week, y'all, um, especially with the retrograde happening. The retrograde, if you're, again, new to tarot, is a period of time, <laughs> a couple times a year, um, with the alignment of the planets, um, that it's, uh, for whatever reason, people are nostalgic, and they're owning their crap, and they have a moment of awareness, maybe an awakening, and they feel the absolute need for balance. And I don't know if it's an energetic sweep by the universe. I don't know. But more and more, I'm finding that several zodiac signs struggle or almost have an imp like the ditto, right? It's the same message. I could pull cards all day and end up with the same damn message for everybody. So this is, I think, universal. There's lots of us that are struggling with uh, uh, previous relationships and closing, whether it be the relationship or the chapter or the situation, but there is a resolution happening. Your numbers, you get a couple of them, Aquarius. Lucky you. I have number 18. You are both open-minded and open-hearted, and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. I am kind-hearted. I think that's hilarious. 18, right there. I am kind-hearted. And there is a typo right there. I am kind hyped, whatever. But take it, take it for as hearted. 14 is your other number, so 18 and 14. You are open-minded, that's twice you've heard that, and always up to try something new. Yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. I am practical, 14 and 18. I think that's wonderful. And I do believe you had a couple of those kind of slow your roll and sit and think about is this what's best for your highest overall good? It's like looking at your future self, looking back and saying, did I make the right choice in this conversation? So Aquarius, this is what I have for you until Wednesday. And before I leave you, just a couple memory, just a couple tidbits. One, please hit that subscribe button. It sure helps me, it costs you nothing, and you get a notification when I upload new content. Uh, hit that like button and leave a positive comment. And if you need any, anything from me, email me at fourthdimensiontarot at gmail.com and we'll get you scheduled for a personal session. Take care, love and light until Wednesday.